Hello friends, I'm glad you're with me today. Please join me in our opening responsive reading. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, hasten to help us. The city of God has no need of sun or moon, for the Lord God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light shall all the nations walk, and the rulers of the earth shall bring their treasures into it. Friends, I'm glad you're with me today. I have one announcement to mention to you, and that is the, is, uh, the sort of financial results from, our, uh, from last weekend's uh, bake sale and rummage sale. And we're right on the edge of $2,000 for everything, uh, which is a, a wonderful result, wonderful result. And it will go a long way towards helping us. So thank you. I know some of you uh, weren't able to come and help in some way, but I know you all did. Uh, Becky told me how she would talk to you, and some of you called and, and had us pick things up for, uh, to bring for sale. And, and just your prayers and your thoughts are important to us. So please keep, keep us in your thoughts. Keep us in your prayers as we seek to move forward in this new time. Now let us bow our heads in prayer. God of mercy and might, all creation exists and is sustained by your righteous rule. Govern our lives by your powerful and gracious spirit that we may reflect the glory of your righteousness, which we have seen in Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Amen. Our opening hymn is entitled, God is Our Refuge and Our Strength. I think you will know the tune when you, when you hear it. Uh, so jump in as soon as you as soon as you grab on to it. Let me get the right note to start with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God is our refuge and our strength, our ever-present aid. And therefore, though the earth remove, we will not be afraid. Though hills amid the seas be cast, though foaming waters roar, yea, though the mighty billows shake the mountains on the shore, where God abides a river flows, that city will rejoice. But nations fear and kingdoms shake before God's thundering voice. Where God is in the midst of it, the city walls shall stand, secure and safe with God's sure help when trouble is at hand. The scripture reading today is from Genesis, from the 32nd chapter, verses 22 through 31, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Scriptures. Listen to the word of God. The same night Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two maids and his eleven children and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. And he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. 
The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Today I want to read you for meditation some words written by the Reverend Dr. John Cleghorn. Uh, it comes to me through uh, a website that is run by the Presbyterian Foundation, which works for uh, churches and individuals uh, in the denomination to support them financially. They do a lot of financial planning and they, they do a lot of help for churches. And every month they send out a little newsletter and it includes a little meditation. This is called Wrestling with 2020. The Reverend Dr. John Cleghorn from the Caldwell Presbyterian Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. If, as in the Old Testament, we were to stack stones to mark our passage through the wilderness of the year 2020, what would our monument look like? If we were to name this strange place in our life's journey as Jacob did at Peniel, what name would we choose? For surely, as with Jacob, we have wrestled here in 2020. Out of nowhere, this pandemic leapt on our, onto our back, changing everything about how we live and work. It disrupted all our church norms. Pastors and their congregations have had to rethink and rebuild virtually every aspect of church life, a challenge, a challenge for which none of us was trained. As long as the pandemic lingers, we must wrestle with it, adapt to it, wriggle out of its holds, and not shirk from the fight. But not just that. Our nation has wrestled too, and us with it as people of faith. We've wrestled like never before with the nation's original sin of racism, each in our own context. This opponent that lives within us, our systems and our institutions demands a response, a reckoning, a change in our, uh, in, a change in our identity once and for all. As was demanded of Jacob, we must acknowledge our deceit against God and neighbor, repent of it, repair its damages, and then and only then seek reconciliation. This old story of Jacob wrestling all night with a mystery man speaks to us over and over again. The text says it was a man, but we know better. Jacob wrestled with God that night. After a lifetime, after a lifetime of stumbling faith, after a lifetime of stumbling faith in God, mingled with repeated deceit against humanity, Jacob had this reckoning coming. Jacob also, also wrestled with himself and, has, and his identity as God's servant leader. When the sun came up, the wrestling came to an end, and Jacob was changed forever. God gave Jacob a new name, Israel, and Jacob walked with a limp afterward as a reminder that he would never get over, he would never get one over on the Lord. As with Jacob, 2020 will not leave us the same. Its effects will linger. Yet, as with Jacob, we will go forward. This pandemic will leave us both humbled and reminded of what we as the church can overcome if we are flexible and don't give up. With God's help and our obedience, this reckoning with racial justice will change how we walk in all the days to come, as it should. On the morning after this long night, after that, after that long night, Jacob turned to Israel, walked, walked with a limp. I'm going to start that sentence over. On the morning after that long night, Jacob turned to Israel, walked with a limp. But Genesis 32, verse 31, also tells us the sun rose above him. On the morning after this long and trying year, what shall we name this place, this year, when we have struggled so long and yet walk towards God's face rising in the sun? Amen. Now let us bow our heads in prayer. God, our shepherd, give to the church a new vision and a new charity. 
new wisdom and fresh understanding, the revival of our brightness, and the renewal of our unity, that the eternal message of your Son, undefiled by our human traditions, may be proclaimed as the good news of a new age. Lord, we pray for our sisters and brothers, for our families, for our church, for those in need, for those whose lives are being changed, for those whose lives have already been changed. We pray for those, Lord, who are sick, those who are suffering. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, that you will encourage, inspire, and walk with each one. We pray you, Lord, to direct and guide your church with your unfailing care, that it may be vigilant in quiet times and daring in times of trouble. We ask all of this through you, O Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our last song is Go With Us, Lord, that we have been singing. Mm, nope, sorry. Mm, that's better. Mm, Go with us, Lord, and guide the way through this and every coming day. That in your spirit, strong and true, our lives may be our gift to you. Go with me, Lord, and guide the way through this and every coming day. That in your spirit, strong and true, my life may be my gift to you. To God be glory forever and ever. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Thank you for being with me, friends. Go with God.